I'm Rachel Stroud. Today we're in our studio, but this isn't what it's gonna look like for long. Today I'm joined by Maddie Diders, and she's going to be helping us bring the studio to life. So be sure you stick with us because as she makes some progress and as we transform this space, we will of course take you along um, for that whole journey. But Maddie's gonna tell us a little bit about herself. You've probably seen some of the work she's done around Marion, but now we're gonna get to meet the artists behind the walls. Hey, yeah, so my name is Maddie Diders. And I live in Marion. I do not go to Marion High School because I'm homeschooled. I have been homeschooled all of my life with a um, co-op called The Classical Conversations. And I have two brothers and I've just grown up around this area and love to see all the public arts that has been instituted. It's fantastic and you've been a huge part of that. How did you get into painting murals and all of the, the arts world? So yeah, last year I saw the call for artists for the 10 different murals and my parents always told me to dream big so I dreamt big and I never would have imagined that in a, mil a million years I would have gotten that but I did. And it's beautiful. Um, so you might recognize one of Maddie's murals. It's the one on the back of Tower Square Pizza here in downtown Marion. How did, this is your first ever mural, right? Yes. yes. How did you come up with that idea? Walk us through that whole process. So on the call for the artists, it has kind of what the building owner wants and they wanted something that incorporates the northern Italian immigration and how that plays a role here in southern Illinois with um, coal mining specifically. So I kind of incorporated the American flag, the Italian flag, the coal mining, the boats leaving Italy and all in that piece. It's beautiful and so well done. If you've not been over there to check it out yet, definitely go go look at it, get some pizza, walk around downtown a little bit and check out some of the other murals. But one you've probably seen, if you've traveled through Marion at all, is your huge piece out on 37, kind of across the street from the fire department. Walk us through this piece, tell us what it's about. Sure, yeah. I originally saw that building and I thought, wow, that would be a beautiful place for a mural. And so I started talking with the fire chief next door and I started talking with the building owners and it was really an honoring, exp like I felt super honored to be able to do that and honor other people through that. To really give the building owners what he wants to see and his vision on the wall and I really think that that was a great opportunity. I think so too, it's beautiful, and you had some help with that one. I did. You have a small army. <laughs> I Tell us about your crew. In all my murals, my mom has helped me. I can't be left unsupervised because I am a minor still, so my mom's always with me, always helping me with the paint, and it's really, really, really nice to not have to work alone all of those long days. <laughs> but whenever my dad is off work, he also comes and helps, and my grandmother also likes to do this stuff on the bottom. A few months ago, a guy named Jeff, you've probably seen us post about Jeff and his um, article in Boom Magazine right here on our Facebook page, but he came up here to interview you. That was kind of cool, right? It was indeed, yes. Yeah. What was that like? What did you guys talk about? Well, we just kind of talked about Marion. Mm -hmm. It was interesting to see an outsider's perspective of Marion, our town, and after reading his article, I truly realized what an amazing town that we live in. Yeah. And it was, it was great that my mural impacted someone from a different state, that they were inspired to come here. That is pretty cool. If you haven't read the article yet, we do still have some copies of this magazine that Maddie's in. She's in two issues uh, right here in our office. So you can swing by and pick one of those up, read uh, Jeff's story about Maddie. That's pretty cool. Are there any more murals on the horizon? Any other big projects? Um, yeah, I have a bunch planned out for this summer. I have some in different towns locally, but one that I, I'm actually starting today, I started last night projecting so everything's marked out, is on the Creative Fine Arts Academy building in Heron, Illinois. Oh cool, that's so neat. When is this one going to be finished, Maddie? I would say within the next week or so, depending on the weather. It yeah. is getting to be very hot. <laughs> well, we'll have to go over and check that out. That's really neat. Um, like I said earlier, Maddie is going to be working here in our studio uh, behind the black curtain. New things will be unveiled before you know it. You can follow along Maddie's journey on our Facebook page here. We'll update you as our studio um, gets more completed. We'll, of course, tag Maddie's um, art page in our description. So you can follow along Maddie. Go give her a like, um, share, follow. <laughs> uh, and as Maddie takes over Marion, 
This has been another Marian Star Live with me, Rachel Stroud.